It's great to see U.S. companies finally taking action to push the battery industry to the next level. We all know the truth. Batteries have long been the weakest link in the electric vehicle world. Not the design, not the range, but the cost of manufacturing and replacing them. Ask any car salesperson, and they'll likely dodge the question. Why? Because no one has managed to bring battery replacement costs down to a level consumers can afford. But now, the 24-megawatt semi-solid-state battery claims to do just that, thanks to its simplified design with semi-solid-state cells, fewer components, and sandwich-style assembly. The result? Lower fire risk, easier recycling, a remarkably low cost of just six cents per watt hour, and the ability to fully charge in just four minutes. But the lab is easy to talk about. Mass production is the real test. Charge-discharge cycles must be validated with real-world data, and few manufacturers are willing to openly discuss battery degradation. But if 24 million can prove its durability, U.S. electric vehicles may finally break free from dependence on Asian battery suppliers and budget-friendly models like the 11,800 BYD Seagull or the 24,400 Xping G6 Long Range will never be a threat to the American EV market. Could this finally be the tipping point for the U.S. to lead in battery manufacturing? Welcome to Tesla Car World. Today we're taking a closer look at the semi-solid-state lithium-ion battery technology developed by 24M. 24M, short for 24 Molecules, is a battery technology firm headquartered in Cambridge, Massachusetts, USA. They've distinguished themselves with a unique semi-solid platform engineered to tackle the four biggest challenges in the battery industry. Driving down costs, boosting safety, increasing energy density, and maximizing recyclability. So how does 24M's semi-solid battery turn the six cents per watt hour price into reality? This $0.06 per watt hour claim is universally regarded as an extremely dubious assertion, lacking rigorous scientific evidence, a solid verifiable foundation, or validation. Any basic market observer with even minimal awareness also knows that current lithium-ion battery pack prices sit at approximately $115 per kilowatt hour, means $0.115 per watt hour. So a $0.06 per watt hour headline rate implies a massive 48% discount over the already optimized current costs, a proposition that remains entirely questionable, implausible, and unfeasible with today's global battery manufacturing technology at scale. Even leading battery scientists and seasoned market research experts in their most optimistic and cited projections only anticipate that average global battery pack prices will gradually decline to below $100 per kilowatt hour by the year 2025. So where does $0.06 per watt hour figure come from? And why is 24 million's battery able to accomplish this feat? Remember back at Battery Day, 2020. Elon Musk and Tesla consistently pursued dramatic cost reduction and significantly enhanced battery performance, publicly targeting an ambitious $60 per kilowatt hour goal at Battery Day, 2020. And just five years later, that ambitious goal has fully materialized in published data, and we believe this extremely low price point derives from large-scale research experiments, because realistically, it would be nearly impossible to achieve at an internal or pilot production scale. Imagine a battery factory as a construction site where, instead of laying 20 painstaking rows of tiny bricks, brick, mortar, brick, mortar, workers now install a few massive precast panels that raise the full height of the wall in a single lift. That is essentially what 24M's semi-solid process does. It cuts the number of individual placements in half, wiping away hours of labor and slashing the energy bills that normally keep the lights, ovens, and precision robots humming. Because each panel is poured as one dense slab, it ends up twice as thick as a traditional brick layer, so the same concrete footing supports far more material. Pay for the foundation once, carry double the load, and the cost per square foot, or per watt hour, plummets. The advantage compounds inside the car itself. Where a typical electric SUV hides hundreds of brick-sized cells under the floor, 24M replaces that clutter with half a dozen wall-sized sheets, 
the company's so-called carpet cells. Fewer parts mean fewer welds, wires, screws, and cooling plates, which quietly chip 10 to 15% off the final bill while also removing dozens of potential failure points. The streamlined approach even reshapes the factory. With less real estate and equipment to finance, the company can build a plant for roughly half the cost, then pass the savings straight to automakers. This battery can run iron-based LFP powders, high nickel blends, or even future sodium chemistries without ripping out its tooling. That agility shields pack prices from wild swings in metal markets, and it shows up where it matters most. A 75 kilowatt hour battery that costs about $8,600 today could fall to roughly $4,500. A couple that drop with a $7,500 federal credit and a mid-size electric crossover can undercut a gasoline SUV right on the showroom floor. Because the panels are cast in Massachusetts, the pack also clears new rules that penalize Chinese components, so more models stay eligible for incentives. Best of all, the same design that makes the battery cheap lets it add 200 miles of range in four minutes and keep working in minus 40 degree winters. So, how can they prove that a four-minute charging time isn't just hype? It's an undeniable fact that even the most advanced semi-solid-state batteries on the market today can only charge from 15% to 90% in up to 18 minutes. Likewise, Cattle's publicly announced fastest charging technology delivers 320 miles in just five minutes, but it doesn't achieve a full 100% charge in one session. And, as everyone knows, Tesla's cutting-edge superchargers still require 15 minutes to add 200 miles. You might not believe it, yet take a look. Cattle has just unveiled its second-generation Shenxing battery, capable of providing 323 miles, 520 kilometers of range in only 5 minutes of charging. That extra minutes difference shows that a 4-minute boost is not only feasible, but entirely within reach. If there's one thing that still holds people back from switching to electric vehicles, it's not the range, it's the charging time. But what if you could charge 200 miles of range in just 4 minutes, and you don't need a custom-built megawatt charging station? Unlike traditional lithium-ion batteries or even solid-state designs, this batteries use a proprietary electrolyte known as Eternalite. While the company is understandably secretive about the details, after all, revealing too much could mean handing the keys to competitors. What's publicly known is already jaw-dropping. Eternalite has three times the ionic conductivity of standard electrolytes. That means ions the tiny charge carriers that flow between the anode and cathode can move way faster, resulting in dramatically shorter charging times. According to internal testing, 24M cells can add 200 miles of range in under four minutes, and they don't require exotic hardware to do it. Unlike other fast charging batteries that rely on one megawatt ultra high power chargers, which are expensive, rare, and often require special infrastructure, 24M's battery charges just fine on standard 400 volt and 800 volt platforms. That means no major overhauls to the grid, no custom cooling systems, just plug in and go. That alone is revolutionary, but it gets even better. Thanks to the Eternalite Electrolyte, 24M's batteries perform incredibly well in cold environments, one of the Achilles heels of most lithium batteries. Standard lithium ion cells lose 25 to 30 percent of their capacity at zero degrees Celsius and perform terribly at minus 20 degrees Celsius. But Eternalite keeps on going. In testing at minus 40 degrees Celsius, 24M cells maintained over 80 percent of their capacity in full energy transfer. That's virtually unheard of, and it makes these batteries perfect for cold weather markets like Canada, Northern Europe, or even military operations. Think about how we refuel gasoline cars. A typical gas stop takes about five minutes. Until now, EVs just couldn't compete with that. You had to plan your routes around charger availability and wait times. But with this tech, the EV charging experience becomes just as fast and convenient as gas, maybe even faster. More exciting, this performance doesn't come at the expense of cost or safety. In fact, the fast charging capability 
is a direct result of the chemistry, not brute force. Eternal light enables high current flow without overheating, and it pairs with 24M's proprietary impervio separator to prevent the risk of thermal runaway. This means faster charging without the fire hazard that often plagues high-speed charging designs. By eliminating the traditional bottlenecks of charging time and cold weather performance, 24M is knocking down two of the biggest walls blocking widespread EV adoption. And the fact that this can be done without exotic infrastructure means the path to mass deployment is wide open. So, why can it kill China's LFP technology? We must acknowledge that China currently controls more than 80% of global LFP battery production. At the same time, LFP batteries accounted for 82.8% of all battery installations in China in April 2025, and cattle and BYD remain the industry giants, holding 38% and 17.2% of the worldwide market, respectively. Besides, we're probably heard all the buzz around solid-state batteries, how they're the next big thing, promising higher energy density, better safety, and longer lifespan. But they also come with sky-high costs, slow manufacturing ramp-ups, and persistent issues with degradation. Rather than go down the solid-state route, 24M has developed something entirely different. Semi-solid lithium-ion batteries. This simplified process opens the door to thicker electrodes, meaning higher energy density and longer range per charge. In lab testing, 24 million batteries have achieved a stunning 660 watt-hour per kilogram, far beyond the 400 watt-hour per kilogram mark that's considered transformative for aerospace, high-performance EVs, and electric vertical. Takeoff and landing aircraft. But great design isn't just about performance. It's about solving real-world pain points, and 24 million does that with recyclability and safety in mind, too. Let's talk about recycling, one of the biggest bottlenecks in the battery industry. Most lithium-ion batteries today require harsh chemical processes to recover usable materials, costly, inefficient, and environmentally damaging. But, thanks to 24M's Life Forever architecture, there's a smarter way. Because the electrodes are free from binders and formed in thick cast layers, they can be mechanically separated at end of life. No fire, no acid baths, no black mass. This allows for up to 98% material recovery, all through a clean and scalable process. It's a true step toward a closed-loop battery economy, easier thermal management. It's simpler, safer, and reduces system costs by an estimated 30% per kilowatt hour. Even better, it scales. Manufacturing is already semi-automated and production ready, paving the way for rapid adoption. And it's made in America ready to challenge not just the limits of what's possible, but also the global supply chain that's long held the EV industry hostage. What do Elon Musk and Tesla say about this semi-solid state battery? With all the standout advantages discussed, ranging from higher energy density and improved safety to scalable, cost-effective manufacturing, it's no surprise that semi-solid state batteries are starting to attract attention from major players in the EV industry. But what about Tesla and Elon Musk, the names synonymous with cutting-edge innovation? What do they have to say about semi-solid state batteries? And more importantly, have they started using them? Surprisingly, Elon Musk has never publicly endorsed semi-solid state batteries the way he's hyped solid state batteries in the past. In Tesla's Battery Day presentations and recent investor briefings, the focus remains on the company's 4680 battery cells, a next-gen version of traditional lithium-ion technology. There's been no official mention of semi-solid-state batteries as part of Tesla's core development strategy. However, just because Elon isn't talking about it doesn't mean Tesla isn't paying attention. As with many disruptive technologies, Tesla tends to test and experiment behind the scenes, and only goes public once a solution is close to commercial viability. Some industry rumors suggest Tesla may have explored partnerships with U.S.-based semi-solid battery startups, but ultimately walked away due to material cost concerns at the time. It's worth noting 
that Musk's philosophy has always focused on scalable practicality, meaning a technology not only has to work, but it must be mass-producible at a reasonable cost. Solid-state batteries, for all their promise, still struggle in that department. Semi-solid batteries, on the other hand, are inching closer to meeting those real-world requirements. At this point, Tesla has not yet deployed semi-solid-state batteries in any commercial vehicles, but key Tesla suppliers, particularly Panasonic and CATL, are actively investing in hybrid battery technologies, including semi-solid variants. This suggests that Tesla is keeping the door open, especially as competitors like NIO and Toyota have already announced plans to pilot semi-solid batteries in long-range electric vehicles. Elon Musk once famously said, Solid-state batteries sound great, but they're insanely hard to manufacture at scale. That's why we're focused on tech we can build now. While he wasn't referring directly to semi-solid batteries, his words inadvertently support the semi-solid approach, which bridges the gap between current-gen lithium-ion and fully solid-state designs. It's safer, more flexible, and far more viable for mass adoption. Some industry analysts believe that in the coming years, as Tesla maxes out the potential of the 4680 and the pressure to improve weight, range, and energy density intensifies, they'll be forced to revisit semi-solid state batteries as a logical next step. So, while Tesla hasn't made a move yet, one thing's clear, Elon Musk is watching. And with the current pace of innovation, it wouldn't be surprising if Tesla suddenly announced a future Model 3 or next-gen Roadster powered by semi-solid batteries, built on a quiet partnership already in the works. It's an inevitable choice, if not a leading-edge trend in technology, because in just a few years, when the Earth's average temperature climbs close to 113 degrees Fahrenheit, you'll realize just how vital electric vehicles really are. It's no coincidence that governments around the world are actively promoting EV adoption and offering generous incentives like the $7,500 federal tax credit in the U.S., a prime example. It's a smart policy, but it brings with it a significant challenge, the looming scarcity of critical materials used in lithium batteries. Supply simply won't keep up. Do you think Tesla will eventually ditch solid-state dreams and pivot to semi-solid-state batteries? especially if they're cheaper, safer, and faster to charge? Why hasn't Elon Musk jumped on this yet? Please share your opinion in the comment section below this video. Thanks for watching our video. If you want to explore more exciting information about Tesla EV or Tesla Bot, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video. Also, make sure to subscribe to Tesla Car World and turn on notifications so you never miss our latest videos. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.